Got all the um, slabs off the interstate crushed over here at Extreme Towing. And we're getting ready to finish treating this last little section here. And we had a spot over there in the corner that didn't take. I think when they built that tower right there, I think they cleared the spot. And I think they buried crap there. Because it's just like it's, I don't know, something. It's like it's hollow underneath or something. So we're going to take some of them pieces of concrete over there. And we're going to take them over there and sprinkle them out on the ground and mix them in. And try to tighten it up. Um, we let the stacker down. And... I'm getting ready to getting ready to spin the wheels around and put them in and hook it to my truck and pull it back to the pit so we can uh, so we can finish. So this is something I haven't shown and I'm not really going to do a big video on it right now because maybe I'll put some in it later today. We got a little more to treat here, but I bought this truck. It's kind of unique truck um, from a friend of mine, Bradley Lowe in Colorado. And this is a 349 Pete water truck with a 6x6 pump on it and 1600R20 tires. The headlights fell out of it. We gotta do a little work to it. We put it right on the job and, and it um it needed to really have a few things done. We I say that. I put pre-combustion chambers in it. Eddie can't put pre-combustion chambers in it and a water pump and rolled in a set of rod and main bearings. It's got a 3306 CAT in it, not a really big um, motor but it does fine for what we're doing um, I put tags and insurance on it so that when I get it you know road legal um, anyway when I get road legal and um, but it'll it's got a 6 by 6 pump and I'm gonna tell you what now it'll move some water it will actually it'll really move some water but um anyway I'll, I'll these side casters here they'll throw water out a couple of hundred feet but anyway um it's it's a pretty neat truck but uh drive line for the pto come out of the dump truck over there so i gotta take the wet line on the um i gotta take the wet line on the kw and dump it i made a fitting years ago this truck used to be bad about slinging out drive line it slung out five drive lines in one spot on 501 and it would always take the oil line out and you couldn't dump what was on it off to work on it so I put a I put a quick connect right there da -da -da. you can see it right there and that hooks to my wet line on my low boy and I can take my low boy and I can dump the bed so you can get it to the shop and fix it but anyway that's where we're at today so it's got a pretty nice setup you can pull it with a pickup just like to go across it and make sure I ain't got a bunch of stuff that's gonna fall out and hit a bunch of people on the highway and mess. But they're bad about getting stuff, rocks and stuff down the inside and dust down the inside. But I'm gonna take back roads to the pit. But it's pretty handy. This was pretty much new when I bought it. I've used it some, but not a whole lot. So everything's treated that needed to be treated over here at Extreme Towing in Lada, a friend of mine's recovery business. All the material has been crushed. We may have to haul in a little bit more and that may be enough. Um, it turned out pretty good. Now he already wants to expand it. We're going to need that top soil pile stuff in the back but you can definitely tell what's been treated and what hasn't didn't treat that because that's where he wants to put his building where you can see that it's not been treated 